Good afternoon. Thank you for coming at short notice. As you're aware, I've just returned from a family funeral interstate, and I'm now able to address the issues that were raised yesterday. As you know, I've held shares in BHP since I was a child, which were a gift from my late grandmother in 1985. In recent years, BHP has undertaken various mergers and demergers, and as a result, I have been issued with small shareholdings in some other companies. While whilst I've always endeavoured to properly declare these holdings as they occurred, upon further review of my personal interests, it became clear that I did not declare one of these a small shareholding in a company called South32, which came from a BHP demerger in 2015. That was an error. It was an error on my behalf, and I don't have any excuse for it. It was not deliberate, it was not intentional, but it's unacceptable. I can assure Territorians that no decision I've ever made has been influenced by that small shareholding. But high standards are expected from people holding high office, as they should be. And I also hold myself to high standards. While I did not intentionally fail to declare this interest, it is clear that I have failed to meet the standards that are set for us and the standards that I set for myself. And I'm not going to make any excuses for that. So for this reason, I believe the honourable course of action is to resign as Chief Minister. I care too much about the Territory. I care too much about our government and what it's achieved to allow my personal mistake to impact on our progress. There's no point dragging it out. I made a mistake. There is no excuse for that. I'm owning up to it. I accept the consequences of it. That's the right thing to do. So on Thursday, I will officially resign my commission as Chief Minister of the Northern Territory, as well as my other ministerial portfolios. And after a short break in the new year, I will return as a fierce and forceful member of the Territory Labor team. I'll be back to my first job in politics, my first love in politics, serving my amazing electorate. So I'm excited at the opportunity to be a full-time local member, and I absolutely commit to running for Nightcliffe in next year's election. I'm proud of what our government has achieved, but I know we have much more to do, and I'll be an energetic campaigner for Territory Labor under new leadership. So yesterday afternoon, we farewelled my father-in-law. It reminded me that life is well lived when it has ups and downs that can be shared with the ones you love the most. So last night, when I told my boys of my decision, a big smile crept across Henry's face. He thinks it's an early Christmas present, getting his mum back. So spending more time with Paul, Ollie and Henry, life's greatest gifts, is what's important to me. It's been an absolute honour to serve as Chief Minister of the Northern Territory. Thank you to the amazing staff that have cared for me, to the public service that work hard each and every day, to my colleagues, to the union movement, to the broader labour movement, and to all Territorians for your support. For now, it's farewell, and I'll see you in 2024.